Crypto family, welcome to the Crypto Logic channel. My name is John, and my mission here on this channel is to make crypto as logical as possible. And what that means to me is to basically break down all things crypto as, as simply as I can. So you guys can understand it. You guys can go ahead and show this video or, or basically tell your friends and your family about crypto in a way that's logical to where you don't have to use big terminologies and, and things like that. Because I do have a tech background. I am very tech savvy in regards of technology it sounds kind of redundant but that's just always been me i've been in tech field since i was a child um, I, I was a former uh, director of it for multiple companies helped build those companies to make millions of dollars i was vastly underpaid of, um, but uh it's okay i found my way into crypto last year and uh, never looked back <clears throat> now i'm full trying, trying to transition to a full-time content creator and I want to be able to use my skill of breaking down technology and basically kind of explaining it in a way that makes sense pretty much for anybody. Um, and that's like my mission here. So if you guys like that, please hit the like button. It helps out with the algorithm. It's free. Doesn't doesn't cost you anything. And subscribe if you guys want to be um, following me on my journey and learn more about crypto. So without further ado, let's break down what the show is going to be about today or this episode is going to be about today. Um, real quick though, got my mic set up, my new mic. This is the RE20. I'm so stoked. I, I used it on the podcast prior, but now that I have my home studio, I didn't have the the device to power this. This thing needs to be powered by uh, uh, audio interface. So I was able to get one yesterday, picked it up yesterday, set it up. Let me know in the comment how it sounds. I think it sounds tremendous. I'm super, super excited. Um, but yeah, just want to let you guys know. I'm ready to go. No excuses. I'm ready to go. But yeah, let's go back. Let's get 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 that out the way. And let's talk about what this episode's going to be about. We're going to talk about the market cap today. We're going to talk about some bullish. I don't know if it's per se, bullish per se, but it's something to do. It has to do with CBDCs. Go over it real quick, like 30 seconds. And then I'm going to go over five tokens that I think will do tremendously well this year. Um, they did do well last year. I think they have a chance to do well again this year. I swung trade a couple of these. Last year, um, and these tokens, you can swing trade them or you can hold them. You can do either or with these. That's why I like these. There's a bunch more. I have a bunch of these type of tokens in my watch list, but I, I picked cherry picked these five in particular because I think that they will do tremendously well this year and have a chance for you guys to make at least a minimum 2x, 3, 4, 5x. And a couple of these hit all time high. It's a 10x. Okay. And they hit all time highs last year. So in my opinion, these particular tokens will do well, in my opinion, not financial advice. It's just based off of my research. I think they're going to do well. They have good communities. Um, I'm not going to break them down thoroughly. I'm just going to go over the tokenomics and what I think is a good and why I think it's a good investment and why I think that it would generate you some good X's. OK, and then the last thing I'm going to go over some NFTs per personally, uh, I just got offered a. Uh, an amount for my nft um yesterday i guess in the evening or this morning actually i i, I saw it this morning so i'm going to go over it and then kind of break down and maybe possibly ask you guys what you think i should do or just wait but uh yeah the, i think today's episode is going to be great and let's just go ahead and get into it so let's look at the market i'm going to refresh this real quick all right oh we just dipped a little bit because yesterday we were at 2.07 trillion dollars okay and before, when I started the show prepping the show today or the episode today, we were at 2.03. We just dipped to 2.02. Still holding strong over 2 trillion. I like that we're over 2 trillion. And I said yesterday in the video, my video, that I think Bitcoin would hit $44,000 um, yesterday. And it did. It did. It hit $44,000 yesterday, this morning at 6.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay. And I believe it hit it again. It hit it originally yesterday at 1.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So after I dropped the video, it did end, ended up going to hit 44K for a quick second. And then it dipped back down. And then this morning it hit 44K again. And then something happened. I don't know what. Um, it crashed again a little bit. A couple thousand, right? Not a big deal. Bitcoin's teetering. It's about to take off. I'm going to basically 
start showcasing tradingview.com to showcase the uh, how the charts look. But um, Bitcoin, something came out where boom, we're we're, we're at the, I think we're still overall. I think we're still trending upwards though. I think we're gonna still trend upwards. Ethereum still at thirty two hundred. I think Ethereum is gonna stay stagnant for a little while. I do see it hitting 37, 38 here in the next week or so. That's just my opinion based off some things I'm researching. But um, Binance still not passing that, cracking that 500 yet. Solana dipped under 146. Cardano, XRP. XRP has some good news and bad news. Like I said yesterday in the video, um, they did postpone the expert discovery phase to February 28th. Both parties wanted it because of the Amarion. So I'm not going to say the other word because I'll flag the video, but the, the because of the Amarion, they um, the, they both have witnesses that they want to bring in to interview. So they're doing eight this week. They're doing the other eight sometime before February 28th because they want more time to interview these witnesses. So that's why it's getting pushed back. It's good news in my opinion. The crypto space isn't ready for a, a XRP uh, Ripple lawsuit settlement yet. We're not ready for that yet. It's going to it's gonna come at the right time. I have a feeling it's going to come at the right time. Um, Luna's at 78. Polkadot's at 25. And then we got, ooh, we got that Doge surpassing Avalanche barely. Technically, Avalanche should be in front, but whatever. Market's looking good today. Um, I like <coughs> I like where we are. I like where we are. Let me see the bubbles. Oh, okay. Everything's... This, like I said in the previous video, I like looking at crypto bubbles because it gives like a uh, visual representation of how the market's looking and everything seems to be kind of lukewarm with a couple of green. What is glamour? What is this moonbeam? Oh, moonbeam's doing well. Okay. Up 39% for the day. Moonbeam's built on Polkadot, the first successful parachain built on Polkadot. Great, great, great project. It's making, made a lot of people money. That's good. Good for them. Um, but yeah. Let's go on in the news real quick. Fed's Lyell Bernard invites Congress to choose whether to compete with China's digital yuan. So I'm going to read this first part real quick. It says, we want to make sure that we do the requisite research on policy and technology so we're in a position to move forward if Congress decides it's important to be able to compete with China in this regard. So what does this mean? Basically, what's going on is China is going full throttle with their CBDC, their digital dollar. They're not going to rely on physical cash anymore. And this new lady, she's going to be the vice chair for the Federal Reserve to Jerome Powell, um, second in command, I guess. She's saying we need to learn CBDCs. We need to learn the ins, the outs, the pros, the cons. And it, whether or not we're going to fully commit, we still need to understand what it will do to the U.S. economy. We need to be prepared to compete with China if we, if we're going to now or, or later on in the future, we need to be ready. So basically, she's inviting Congress. Hey, are we going to compete or not? Either way, if we don't compete now, we still have to learn about it. And that's the main thing. It says the question is about digital currency. It's a big question. We are really looking to Congress in deciding to make CBDCs available to retail customers and the administration to give us guidance in this area. So they want Congress to give them full reign to just go in and research and learn about CBDCs basically to transition retail investors, regular people into using digital currencies because <coughs> it's coming. Everyone will be using digital currencies in the future. China is a superpower. If they're hundred percent forcing their people to use it, we're going to end up using it and we're not going to be using physical cash anymore. I'm telling you guys that now, my opinion, we're going to be le heading towards a digital economy, a digital society. So it's it's very interesting, in my opinion, that um, they're they're literally talking about this stuff every single day. And uh, it's just a lot of people. If you don't do the research, you won't even know what's going on. And people are going to look back and go, damn, I couldn't invest in these, these technologies that made and been on the other side of history. It happens. It happens all the time in history. Just like uh, my analogy, my favorite analogy, when cars came out, people really did not want to give up their horses. They did not want to give up their horses. Hey, you want to keep your horse or you want to get, invest in a car, right? Let's move on now. I want to talk about five cryptos that I think are going to do tremendously well this year. There's a bunch more. There's a bunch more. Um, I'm going to go over them briefly. 
Uh, I'm not going to bore you guys to death. I'm going to go over them briefly and, and what they did last year and why I think they're going to do well again. And then um, I also will, I'm planning on making another video to explain how I determine a token is going to do well and how to um, compare tokenomics and how much money you need to invest into certain cryptos to make you money and how it can make you money, if that makes sense. I'm going to make a video explaining my thought process when I look at a crypto and how I deem it possible to make me money because I understand the technology and if you do not understand the technology and I always say you got to respect the space and you want to make money, that video will be for you and I will also have videos on explaining technology as well. I always try and teach the technology with every single crypto that I go over. So look out for that video. I don't know if I'll drop it tomorrow or next week. I want to make sure that it's actually done right and it's going to be a video that you can send to anybody and basically, it'll explain tokenomics behind crypto and explain why they will do well or why they won't do well, et cetera, how much money you need to invest in it to make a certain amount, how many tokens you need to buy. Like, oh, you only need 100 of these tokens. For this crypto, you might need 1,000, right? So look out for that video. I will basically, it'll be in the Discord. So if you guys are not in the Discord, please join the Discord. I will keep you guys updated in the Discord. I'm in there every single day. We have a great, powerful community that's um, being built currently. And the Discord will get all that information um, and when it's going to be releasing and everything like that. And I can't wait to share it with you guys. So now the first one that I want to talk about is stacks. This is the most expensive one right now. Okay. It's the $2. Okay. Still very undervalued. In my opinion, the circulating supply is 1.2 billion, which is very solid. The market cap is 2.6 billion. This thing has a chance to, I believe hit 5 billion. That's an easy two uh, X maybe even 10 billion right by the end of the year but i think solidly um it saw so, having a word i think it can solid solidly hit 5 billion dollar market cap if that happens it'd be four bucks easy 2x in my opinion but long term this thing can easily be one of those 10, 15 25 30 billion dollar market caps you can buy this and hold it this thing has a lot of um look at that red but this thing has a lot of recovery traits. So if you buy in here, you would have made money today, right? And this was um just this was just a few days ago. So what I'm saying is stacks dips under a dollar, dollar fifty, dollar twenty randomly. And then easily goes back up to two, two fifty, three dollars randomly. So this thing's predicated on building um smart contracts on Bitcoin. And I and this crypto is in a lot of elites like venture capitalists, like billionaire trust funds, et cetera, and hedge funds. I don't have a trust fund, but funds and investment firms, they have stacks in their portfolio, okay? I This is where I found it. I found it in one of these investment portfolios. And their all-time high is, stacks' all-time high is $3.61 just two months ago. So this thing has potential to go back to all-time high and pass all-time high and make new all-time highs this year so if you really think about it most crypto every crypto except xrp makes new all-time highs every year if they're not a poop coin even some even poop coins do that but just take poop coins out of it fundamental this is considered a fundamental token fundamental cryptos always for the most part i can confidently say 90 percent of the time make new all-time highs every year and xrp is the only one that isn't because it slapped it got slapped with the lawsuit okay and if you take xrp out of it every crypto makes new all-time highs every year so that's why i believe i'm very confident that stacks will double its current position if not double its all-time high and hit four to six bucks so that's an easy play in my opinion if you want to swing trade it or if you just want to hold it you know what I mean? And this thing is designed to help Bitcoin be successful. Basically power Bitcoin and give it smart tra smart contracts capability. Their website is gorgeous. They're they're featured on a lot of news articles, Forbes and everything like that. So, I look, they're going to they also have they can power Bitcoin have NFTs. Power Bitcoin for DeFi. Okay? And then they they're creating proof of transfer mechanism for uh, Bitcoin. <clears throat> so Bitcoin's not going to transfer from a proof of work. I mean, from proof of work to proof of stake, it's going to transfer from proof of proof of work to proof of transfer. 
So that just means that it allows Stacks to connect and basically Stacks will be the middleman to allow Bitcoin to, to not be stupid anymore. So basically Bitcoin's old and stupid. Stacks plugs itself into Bitcoin and allows it to talk to other networks. So Bitcoin's not stupid anymore. That's the simplest way I can put it. But it's going to have DeFi. It's going to give DeFi to Bitcoin. It's going to give uh, uh, NFTs in the metaverse to Bitcoin. That's why I'm very bullish on Stacks. Stacks, I think, powers Miami coin, too, in Miami. Miami has their own token. Stacks powers it. Um, <coughs> Stacks is something that I'm very bullish on. I'm going to be adding to this to my portfolio here um, as soon as probably next week because I'm going to I'm going to get some funds coming in to basically whoop, throw it into stacks on top of obviously my time rebases. But my time rebases and Hector rebases, I'm stacking those to buy Hydra and all my favorite plays. This is one of them. OK, let's move on. Seller Network. I bought this, I believe, early last year in February. OK, so I bought down here, which was kind of high. So I bought in like, oh, actually it was low because I bought in February. I remember like two, yeah, it was like two cents. So I bought it at two cents and I sold it at 12 cents. So I sold it around here. So I sold, I kind of, I didn't catch the top all the way because I think the all time high of this thing is um, 19 cents so i sold a little early on the all-time high was 19 cents in september and i sold in the summertime at 12 cents so that's a 10x so i put in money at two cents and was able to pull out at 12 cents i caught the wave up and then i could i lost out on some money because it obviously hit 19 cents but <clears throat> seller is basically a protocol that helps with layer two scaling so as exciting as blockchain is, it can leave much to be desired with transaction speeds and throughput. The Seller Network is a smartly designed layer two scaling solution that provides off-chain transactions handling. So the Seller platform offers fast, simple, and secure off-chain transactions for both payments and smart contracts. Um, it's one of the first to be developed using the Substrate framework and is part of the Polkadot ecosystem. So remember, Polkadot is going to have its is its its glow up moment this year because they launched Parachains. Moonbeams, obviously, you can see Moonbeam went up 39% in a day. Polkadot's going to do really well. Polkadot, I believe, will join the $100 club. If Polkadot does well, everything that's built around Polkadot, near Polkadot, attached to Polkadot will also do well. That's how Layer 1s work, Layer 2s work, spreading out to the other Layer 3 and so forth and so forth, Oracles and so on and so forth. So, in my opinion, Seller Network will optimize and follow Polkadot. And the all-time high is at 19 cents. Just buying now, getting back to an all-time high, is more than double your money instantly. And it has six billion in circulating supply, and the total supply is 10 billion. And obviously, it's going to be way too much for me to explain how many tokens you need. I will make another video to explain market caps, and explain supplies of 10 billion, 1 billion, 100 million, 200 million, etc., and explain how much you need of each. Seller network, I will buy back in again just to do another swing trade because I think that it'll break all-time high again this year. And predominantly maybe get to like 30, 40, 50 cents. So I think Seller Network has great potential to double its all-time high. And if it doubles its all-time high, it's 40 cents, right? So that's that's tremendous if you buy in anywhere under 19 cents, which is its all-time high. But if you buy under 15, 14 cents, you're going to make money just for it touching all-time high again. <clears throat> so I'm very bullish on Seller Network to do really well this year. I think Seller Network can tremendously make you good gains. On top of just wanting, if you just need to hold it. So these plays that I'm going through, you can swing trade them. And or if you don't want to swing trade, you can buy and hold these babies. Okay. And me buying seller in, I think, February and, and just holding it. I just had it in my portfolio. It blew up in the summertime, 10 x I was very happy. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. Around this time, it's I'm just repeating the process. Okay. And I learned. Okay. So. You buy around these low prices, the market's down right now, right? So you buy these prices, selling network in the summertime, it blows past all-time high again. You'll be happy. Same thing with stacks. The next one, so selling network, I did buy in. I did swing trade it. I'm going to buy back into it. The next one I want to talk about is Parsec. Parsec is, I haven't bought into this yet at all, but I'm going to, I'm planning on buying in this year as well. 
Parsec has massive potential to do really well. The max supply is 500 million, total supply is 300 million, circulating supply is 142 million. So right now it's at 43 cents. Its all time high is $2.61. Okay. And that was nine months ago. Okay. That was, that was gonna, gonna be a year now. Okay. This thing is, is primed for a new all time high this year. I have a feeling this thing is prime for all time high this year. The market cap is only sixty two million dollars. Okay, this thing is is ready for a new all time high, and just getting back to its all time high, right, is a good flip. Okay, two dollars and sixty one cents, forty cents. That's a that's a four x right four yeah or five x six x, right? My math is bad. Just correct me in the comments, but <clears throat> Parsec. Describes itself as a next generation platform for monitoring and intelligence, offering analytics tools for blockchain technology across a plethora of industries. This enables users to track activity in real time, unlock new use cases for the application, and create instant notifications. Smart triggers can be used to react to events of interest on multiple networks. So, this thing was rolled out on Ethereum on to in 2019, and I think this thing has massive potential to do really well. Um, their website, I love their website. It's very to the point, very simplified. Um, and look, they're supported by Binance, Solana, Polkadot, Chainlink, Aave, Algorand, right? <clears throat> Basically, what it does, it's it's in a sense like security, okay? So it specifies the address and blockchain activity and monitor, customize what data gets sent, enrich the risk with market data, define the channel to trigger an action, Telegram, Discord, Google Sheets, Webhooks. So basically, it's a monitoring um, crypto. So you attach it to your protocol, and you could tell you could basically have it monitoring for red flags, monitoring for uh, bots, cells, anything you want to monitor. Basically, like a security camera. It's basically a security camera for for crypto protocols. That's going to be huge long term when crypto is fully adopted. So I think this thing has massive potential to at least go back to all time high. Um, I realized that I didn't go over where to buy these things. Um, you would basically go to market. You can get it on KuCoin. A lot of these you can get on KuCoin. So Parsec can get on KuCoin, Pancake Swap, Coin Metro, Hotbit. KuCoin is the best place for my, in my opinion, to get these things. Um, seller you can get on Crypto.com. That's where I got mine originally. Crypto.com. Um, you can buy it on Binance. Um, it's not on KuCoin yet, is it? Doesn't seem like no. It's not on KuCoin yet. But seller you can get on Crypto.com. That's the easiest place to get in my opinion. Um, okay, EX, Binance, Stacks, you can get on <clears throat> um, Binance, KuCoin, Gate.io, OakCoin, Crypto.com. So these things are very accessible, very easy accessible. Some of these aren't even on Coinbase yet. So imagine they get listed on Coinbase too. Come on, man. Come on, guys. Easy flip, easy flip, easy plays. <coughs> the fourth one I want to talk to, one I also swung trade. Um MTV. So this thing, I was holding Zillica for the longest time. And what Zillica is designed to do is helping sharding and helping scaling blockchains, right? It helps keep cryptos from collapsing when they're trying to scale. MTV is basically a better version of it. That's what they say. They're a better version of um, scaling cryptos. They're all dimensional sharding, okay? So what they want to do is increase the transactions per second for every crypto protocol. And needing transactions per seconds is very important because you want to be able to handle a high volume of people doing things on the network, buying, selling, trading, etc. So uh, MTV, uh, Multivac MTV is designed to be up fully dimensional to act, operate on any crypto and allow it to scale sufficient efficiently and efi efficiently and successfully and s and smoothly so where there's no delay there's no lag there's no crashes solana could definitely use their technology right because solana's already reaching that problem um and that's why i really like mtv it's at 0 0.007 i did swing trade this last year um i can't remember when i sold but i sold out of like i think a four or five x <coughs> but the all-time high of this thing is two cents so and it only has it has ten is that a billion billion tokens, right? 
This thing is mentioned in our Discord as a, a good play. I swung this trade this last year. I'm going to probably swing trade it again this year. But I truly think that this is a great opportunity to buy this token at zero zero cent seven cents, not even a, a cent yet. So I think that it'll make new all time highs and it could easily hit four, five, six cents, maybe even ten cents this year. So this is another play that I think can do really well for a lot of people because it's so cheap. It's low risk, high reward. Very cheap. Put a couple hundred bucks in that couple hundred bucks turn to a couple thousand easily. Okay, I really think that this thing has massive potential this year to do well. Um, you can get this thing on KuCoin, Gate.io, very accessible. I love it. The last one is YOP, Yield Optimization Platform and Protocol. I really like this one. This one has 88 million tokens, okay? Uh, 2 million market cap, very, very low-key token, $0.27. Cents. Um, the chart all-time doesn't look pretty. But that means that there's a room for it to make new higher highs, okay? And I believe the all-time high of this thing is $3.90 last year. So in my opinion, <coughs> this thing can at least go back to all-time highs this year, if not more. If everything is, when we hit the, the, the euphoric run that we're expected to have this year, this token, I have a feeling, will... Go back to all-time high and smash all-time highs. And that's a good, good, safe bet, low-risk, high-reward play. So YOP is a yield optimization platform, all-in-one application that makes it easy for everyone to access DeFi, giving you control, custody, insights, and flexibility directly into one single application. So it's a deflationary token that allows users to connect with various DeFi networks, earn bolt on rewards, stake, and participate in governance. The YOP token has a fee and burn structure that supports community growth and incentivization. So basically what it does, it it's a token that you can use to kind of put your, your hat in the ring for DeFi. So you can use this token as, it's like wrapped. So you can use this token to help you get into different protocols on different networks. So that's why I like it. Very simple. Um, you use that token. It pays you back in this token. And um, it's very simple. Um, very cheap. Get it on KuCoin. This is the last one I want to talk about. I think that it's, to be honest, this is something that can easily, you just hold for, <coughs> for a year. And then out of nowhere, your money just goes up 1,000%, right? Because... It's at $0.27, it hits $3, $2, easy flip. But out of those five, Stacks, Seller, Parsec, MTV, Yield, my favorite one would be Seller. Second would be MTV just because I have already made money on those. Third would be Stacks. Fourth would be Parsec. Fifth would be YOP. I have a bunch more, but those are those five. And let's move on to the last part of this episode is my NFT. I just want to break down you guys. I bought this NFT literally last year for 1.1249 at that time i think it was like 500 bucks right and today i got an offer for 0.12 um which is worth 394 dollars in wrapped eth honestly i'm not sure if i want to accept it i'm still debating i really like this this nft the creator of this NFT, or she's in charge now, she has the same lady as me. She just doesn't have these glasses. I have the Louis V glasses, I guess. But apparently what happened with this project was it was doing really well. And um, it was supposed to be the first all-women ran NFT program or project. And then they found out that it was some Russian guys that created it. And then they got, they doxed themselves and they said, okay, we apologize. They gave, they basically gave up the project and this um Becky board Becky she took it over and shout out to her she's awesome she's always like retweeting uh tweeting me and stuff like that whenever I shout out family she took over and now it's basically moving towards a direction that their original vision Gary V shouted them out a couple times their floor price is rising so I think I'm gonna sit on this and wait a little bit see it was just at one four five this morning I'm gonna sit on it and wait I'm going to try and see if I can get 0.5. I want 0.5 for that, which is going to be about $1,500, $1,600.
for for uh that i'm trying to i'm gonna try and sell it for 0.5 that's like my goal but um but yeah <clears throat> nfts are awesome um i'm gonna hold on to this one i'm gonna go in the discord and try and see if i can uh i'm gonna try and sell that thing for 0.5 i'll let you guys know if i do all right but um pretty much that's that that's gonna wrap it up for today's show episode i gotta figure out if i'm gonna call this thing a show or episode or whatever i don't know how long this video was i'm gonna cut it down a little bit but um i want to thank you guys again for tuning in i really really truly appreciate it and i cannot wait to get on this journey get this journey rolling with you guys and um we're gonna make some money this year okay i have a feeling we're gonna make <laughs> not a feeling i know we're gonna make a lot of money this year so if you guys want to make money Please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, little bing, so you guys know when I drop a video. Like the video as well. Help this video get pushed on the algorithm. Join the Discord. The Discord is one of the most best communities ever, ever. So join the Discord. Don't miss out on any plays. Um, this video is, I think, about 30 minutes now. So I'm going to leave timestamps so you guys can skip through and everything like that. I want to thank you guys again for supporting me. I'm going to make sure you guys make a lot of money, okay? Not financial advice. And um, I'm going to break down some more different types of videos in regards of tokenomics and everything like that. So there's a lot to look forward to moving forward on this channel. Please, um, I, I want to thank you guys for support. Once again, merch is coming. I got merch on the way. You know, I love I love hoodies. I know how to do, I have a knack for hoodies. Uh, I'm going to mugs. Merch is going to be coming. I will let you guys know in the Discord. It's, it gets, they're going to get uh, basically look at the designs that come out first. But there's going to be a bunch of cool merch coming out. I'm overstaying this conclusion. I'm over, you know, overplaying this conclusion. So once again, thank you guys. I will see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah.